Hey what's up you guys, Shani here again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about 10 Canadian urban legends because as maybe some of you guys know, I am from Quebec in Canada. So that's why I'm going to be talking about Canadian urban legends. So you might see my eyes moving a lot because I am reading some information on my computer about these legends because I do not know all of them and if I do know them I don't know that much information as I'm not really familiar with them. So here we go. Number 10 is the Forbidden Plateau. So the Forbidden Plateau is a small plateau in Western Canada. Canadians have long associated the arrow with mystery, and it was common practice for them to hide their families in the plateau to keep them safe during conflict with other tribes. But one day, the warriors' family members completely disappeared. Returning to find their loved ones missing, they apparently found evidence that the plateau is occupied by evil spirits. So they never entered the area again. That's why it's known as the Forbidden Plateau. Still today, some native Canadians believe the area is called home by evil spirits who ike and eat humans. Number 9 is the St. Louis Ghost Train. So, in the tiny village of St. Louis in Saskatchewan, is mostly known for a rather strange legend. In the village is an old and abandoned, and abandoned train track. People often report seeing strange floating lights moving along the train track during the night. The most popular story to explain the strange light is that a ghost train often appears on the track. Another is that the light is the ghost of a workman who died during the construction of the track. There are a few scientific explanations of the phenomenon, but none are certain. Ghost lights, as they are known, can be seen all over the world and are usually connected to folklore. Number 8. John Troyer. John Troyer was an American-Canadian exorcist, and he was born in, into an Amish family that relocated to Canada, which is where he discovered his abilities. He was known for being terrified of witches and dark forces. Legends tell, tell of him stalking witches until they led him to their den. On discovering their den, he would steal their broomsticks and use it for personal transport. There are other stories of him locating secret areas where, group of, where groups of witches meet. At these areas, he would set up traps for them. One thing we know for sure is that he did create large traps, which were basically just human-sized bear traps. He died in 1842 and is still remembered in local folklore. Number seven is the Cressy. So the Cressy is said to be a water monster that lives in Robert's Arm, which is in Newfoundland. It's believed to live deep underwater and be 15 foot long. The creature was believed, was believed in by native people and wasn't long before European settlers started reporting encounters with it. A few decades ago, <clears throat> Two men saw an overturned boat flo floating in the lake. When it noticed, they approached it to see that it wasn't a boat at all. It was a moving, living creature. When it noticed them, it dived deep into the water and they didn't see it again. There are so many reported encounters just like that. Native Canadians believe it could shapeshift to avoid being hunted. Number six is Dungarvan Whooper. Dungarvan Whooper is a popular ghost story set in Dungarvan River. The story tells of a young cook who works at a lumber camp along the river. The boss of the lumber camp one day murdered a boy. He then cook, cooked and ate the boy. The boss told the other workers that the boy had mysteriously disappeared. That night the camp was shaking with sounds of ghostly screams. The workers abandoned the camp in fear the next morning. They say his ghost still haunts the abandoned camp. The story was handed down through many generations of lumber workers until it eventually entered mainstream culture. Number 5 is Young Teaser. So, Young Teaser was an American ship which was destroyed during the War of 1812. It was wrecked in Nova Scotia, where, which is where some believe it can still be seen today. Local legend tells of the Teaser ghost ship. It can be seen as a glowing ghostly ship on fire, floating through the water on misty mornings. There are, so, there are many different versions of the ghost story. 
Some say the ghostly crew are constantly re reliving the horrible way in which they died. The legend is further enshrined in popular culture by the fact that the young teaser was a licensed pirate ship. Number four is Rose Lachalipe legend. So obviously her last name is French, so I'm translating it in English. There are many different version <laughs> versions of this legend. It's the story of a young girl who spent the night dancing with a stranger. At midnight, the stranger re revealed to Rose that he was Satan. Rose was horrified, but it was far too late by that point. The devil kidnapped Rose and took her back to hell with him, where she remains to this day. This is just one of many Canadian legends that tell of young girls dancing with evil figures who ultimately harm them. It's thought that the stories were developed over time to warn younger people against dancing with strangers. Number 3. The Ghost Ship of Nor Northumberland Strait The Ghost Ship of, the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait is Canada's most well-known ghost ship, which I personally don't know. Sightings usually describe a three-mast vessel that suddenly becomes set on fire as witnesses watch. There are several accounts in, in recent history when other ships thought they were witnessing a real ship on fire. So they approached a ghost ship and attempt to rescue the crew on board. This was, this was the case in the year 1900. The ship disappeared before the eyes of those trying to reach it and no trace was found. People have been reporting the ship for over 200 years, and it doesn't seem like that's going to stop anytime soon. Number two is Oak Island Money Pit. So there's a mysterious place called Oak Island. On this island is a strange pit. The pit seems to be man-made and several people have been digging, digging in it for the past 150 years. It has long believed that there is treasure bird at the bottom of the Oak Island Money Pit. Several people have died in the booby-trapped pit, <laughs> and many fortunes have been lost digging for the treasures. Still today, still today, no one knows what lies at the bottom of the pit, and or who constructed it. Today, there's a whole reality TV show telling the story of modern companies digging in the money pit. Many legends surround the pit. The, the, there are two most famous legends. The first is that the treasure will only be found when there are no more oak trees on the island, and today just one oak tree remains. The other legend is that the treasure will not be found until seven people die searching for it, and six people have died so far. This is among the few Canadian legends to be well known worldwide. And yet I didn't know it. <laughs> and number one is a French urban legend, so I'm going to try to say it in English. It's the Chasse Galerie. So a few Canadian legends are as bizarre as this one. The Chasse Galerie is a tale of a group of people who need to travel a great distance, so they make a deal with Satan allowing the canoe to fly through the air quickly. They can, they can use it to travel but they are not allowed to mention the name of Jesus. Otherwise, Satan will claim their souls. But they got drunk on rum while they're on their journey, and, the na and their navigator starts shouting the names of God and Jesus. The other crew members try, try to stop him, but doing so, the cra they crash the canoe and fall to the ground. The fall knocks them unconscious, and they only awaken after they had been taken to hell. So, amazing urban legends, right? They're not that scary compared to like ones in Japan and Korea and China. The Asian, the Asian, the Asian ones are creepy. So, that's the creepiest Canadian legends, which they're not really creepy. Not at all. Like, I don't have shivers going down my back right now. But that's totally fine, because Canada sucks. Not really, but it sucks at history and everything. So anyways, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And 
If you want more videos like this, comment in the video down below which urban legends of which country you'd like me to say. Either Ireland, Ireland, Britain, America, Japan, Korea, anything. Um, so that's it and I'll make a new video soon so comment down below the country of the urban legends you want me to do next or if I should do more k-pop group videos. So I love you guys, I'll see you in the next video and stay lovely and handsome, bye!